This is a demonstration on Le Chatelier's principle. Le Chatelier's principle is the idea that if you have a system at equilibrium, so it's balanced, the rate of forward reaction equals the rate of reverse reaction, and the concentration of the products and the reactants are constant. What we're going to do here is disrupt that system at equilibrium and force it to find a new equilibrium by causing some sort of stress. The system we're going to look at today is a system uh, with copper, and here I have a copper chloride solution. In solution, when copper is dissolved in water, it forms a complex with water, and it is a nice sky blue color, as you can see here. If you add ammonia to the system, what will happen is the ammonia will form a new complex with copper, and it forms a dark blue liquid. And what we're going to do here is disrupt this equilibrium and force one reactant or one product to show up, and we'll see that based on the colors we have here. So what I have here in my setup is I have a test tube full of the copper 2 sulfate, which is going to form this sky blue copper water compound. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to react it with ammonia, household ammonia, and push the reaction towards the products. And then what I'm going to do is re react it with 6 molar hydrochloric acid. What that'll do is that will react with the residual ammonia in the solution and make an ammonium ion. The ammonium ion can't form a complex with copper like ammonia can, and so as a result, we'll turn back to this nice sky blue color. Okay, so let's take a look here. So first I'm going to add some ammonia. Okay, and as you can see, it turns a dark blue color. Okay, so that means we are now, shake it up there, we have a dark, a dark blue. So now we have achieved uh, an equilibrium where we have pushed the reaction towards the products here, this dark blue product, this complex of ammonia with copper. Now what I'll do is I'll add the hydrochloric acid. And as I said, this is going to remove ammonia from the solution. And so when we remove something, the system will try and make more of it to replace the missing part. And as you can see, it's that nice sky blue color again. And so we've pushed ourselves back to the reactants where we have the copper water complex. Let's do that one more time. We're going to shift it to the products by putting some ammonia in. It's going to take a little bit more since we use concentrated hydrochloric acid. And so we have a mostly blue solution here. So we've mostly converted back to this dark blue. We have shifted the equilibrium to the products here. And then we'll shift it back. using our hydrochloric acid. Okay. And we've shifted it back and forth. So just by changing a certain reactor or product in our equilibrium system, we can shift between sky blue and dark blue to demonstrate equilibrium and a disruption to this equilibrium system. Okay. This has been a demonstration of Le Chatelier's principle using copper complexes.